Hello YouTubers, this is Shen. Today in front of me is yet another very anticipated smartphone of 2014. This is the brand new second generation Motorola Moto X. Unfortunately I have not had a chance to ever be in contact with the first model, but I won't be making the same mistake this year. Welcome to my unboxing and first impressions video. The phone comes packaged in a white card box with the Motorola logo and the Moto X name on the front. On one of the sides you can find a sticker with information about the model number, the IMEI number and the color option. My unit comes in white with bamboo back, but there is also a black and plastic and black and leather available. Additionally, if you live in one of the countries where Motomaker service is available, you can personalize the device to your liking. Of course, everyone's got their own tastes, but in my opinion the Bamboo Moto X is the prettiest smartphone I've ever held so far. Let's have a look inside the box. The first thing you see after opening is your brand new smartphone. The bamboo finish looks marvelous and the renders don't show its true beauty. I'm gonna put the device aside for a minute to show you the remaining box contents. There is a blue envelope with quick settings guide inside. My unit comes from Germany and all manuals are in German. Below we can find a white wall charger and a USB cable for data exchange and charging and a SIM ejection tool. There is no headset included in the retail box. So now let's move on to the build and design of the new Moto X. The phone has a protective film with short specs imprinted covering the front panel, which I'm gonna remove. Thanks to its profiled body, it is extremely comfortable in the hand. On the top and bottom of the front panel lie two speakers. The top one is the speakerphone and the bottom one is the loudspeaker. They have aluminum covers that stick out above the display. On the left and bottom corners are IR sensors used for hand gestures to quickly display notifications. The 5.2 inch AMOLED display is covered with Corning Gorilla Glass 3. The screen to frame ratio is really good, especially when compared to the competition with the same size display such as the Xperia Z3. The whole device is surrounded by an aluminum frame. On the left side you won't find any buttons. On the bottom is the micro USB port for charging and data exchange and on the right the volume rocker and the power button with a nice coarse surface. On the top we have a century located headphone jack and a hidden nano sim tray ejected using the tool provided from Motorola. The back cover is non-replaceable. Mine is made from bamboo. I've noticed that it is not perfectly adjusted on all corners and it slightly sticks out, but I guess that those are the joys of having wood on your device. On the back we have a 13 megapixel camera module with a transparent ring that hides a dual LED flash for the camera around and a silver Motorola logo below. The Moto X is 140.8mm in length, 72.4mm in width and 10mm in thickness and its weight is 144 grams. The device has a non-removable 2300mAh battery. When it comes to technical specs, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 CPU clocked at 2.5GHz, Adreno 330 graphics chip and 2GB of RAM. It comes with 16 and 32GB storage options with no microSD expansion. On first boot, you will be welcomed by the Motorola logo, a pretty boot animation and then a standard Android configuration. There is a long list of available languages. The device works on the newest version of Android 4.4.4 KitKat and offers a clean Android experience with a few extra apps from Motorola. I have to say that the looks are stunning and you can feel the high quality of build and materials used in every inch. The AMOLED display also has beautiful colors. It's been a while since I've tested a device that would lie so comfortably in the hand as well. Soon you will be able to find a detailed review with camera and battery test on my channel. As usual, I look forward to any questions you may have about the device in the comments. For now, I'm going to intensively test all of the smartphone's features. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.